up, doll collectors, hobbyist, fabs, and besties. I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. Today we are in our Barbie style rooms that we started making in this video. And I'm currently in the middle of two craft videos, but drying time is taking forever. So while we wait, let's take a look at some Barbie play sets. I picked this one up at Target for $29.99. It has 25 pieces that look to be centered around a shopping theme. And it looks like we've seen quite a few of these pieces before. Let's get this doll out of the box for a closer look. Oh wow, they wanted to make sure this stuff was secured. In this playset, we get a curvy doll with the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, the shoulder, and the hip. I love her hair color. It's almost like a blonde or a light brown with a touch of red to it. I'm thinking strawberry blonde. Her hair stops a little past the waist. She has a center part and it feels pretty standard for a Barbie fashionista. This doll has large green eyes a little bit of blush, and an almost coral lip color. She comes with clear glasses attached to the top of her head. Here she is with the glasses on. You can still easily see her eyes. Her eyes are like huge to me. She comes with pink hoop earrings that are not designed to be removed. We've seen this style earring recently. On the beach theme Barbie, she has them in gold. And on the roller skating Barbie, she has them in white. And now here they are in pink. She wears a blue and white polka dot halter dress. There is no opening and it ties with a ribbon behind the neck. And she comes with a pair of white boots. We also get a pink body form with a pink and white dress. Here is the body form without the dress. It's solid pink and looks similar to the one that came with the Barbie sewing playset, and it is unfinished in the back. We also get a two-tone pink clothing rack that is similar to the one that comes with Brooklyn. Only Brooklyn's is silver on top and pink on the bottom and comes with pink hangers. The new one comes with three gold hangers. We're also getting a pink love seat or chair. This is definitely a design that we are familiar with. The back is hollow and the doll can easily sit on the couch with her legs extended. Good thing they included an ottoman, which we can place under those boots to keep the doll nice and comfy. We've also seen this one before, along with this coffee table. I think I have it in purple. But here, everything is pink, which is definitely the color of the season. Yay! Sorry, I am still very much obsessed right now with pink. We get pink high heels that fit the included curvy doll. We get light pink shoes and yellow, making it four pairs of curvy doll shoes. We get a cream colored plastic hat that has a woven pattern here it is on the included doll. We get a pink quilted bag, a yellow bag with a bow, and a small blue clutch. There is a large silver colored ring, I'm guessing, that fits over the whole hand, a blue bracelet, gold colored bracelet, pink sunglasses, a plastic pearl necklace, a gold colored necklace, pink perfume, and red lipstick. We also get a star mirror that is reflective. It looks just like the one that comes with the Barbie Extra playset. Only that one was yellow, I think. The pink and white dress easily fits a curvy, but it is a little large on a classic Barbie body. Okay, so it's looking like this is not a one size fits most kind of situation. There is a shirt and skirt included, the skirt does have a raw edge at the bottom. They are a little large on a classic Barbie. However, you could probably get away with the top, but it's a better fit on a curvy. We should have got a curvy body form. Just saying. It is possible that you might already have all of these furniture items already in your collection. They just might be in a different color. So you might be able to set up something similar. 
I kind of wish the clothing racks were the same color or sold separately so we could have more clothing racks in our little shop scene without having to buy the playset over and over. And did you even notice how smoothly I switched out that doll with the basic five points of articulation and replaced it with the made to move? I couldn't help it. I need dolls with articulation. But she's not pixelated, so that is a plus. I also picked up the cute and cozy cafe. It was $34.99. On Target's website, it says it is a Target exclusive with 22 plus pieces, and there is a water element. In this playset, we get a plastic wall. It's a mint green kind of color with a lot of shelving, a small white counter, and a printed background of shelves with books and plants underneath. On the other side, there is an image of a cat, two stools, and a table. Personally, I would have liked to have just seen the wood wall. There's a pink hanging menu that looks like a chalkboard and we can hang it above the counter. There's a pink counter that we can add to the side. This playset also comes with the oversized chair. It is a slightly different pink. The one that comes with the cozy cafe playset is a little darker. And we're getting the same table. This one is a lighter pink, whereas the other one is darker and translucent. We get an orange cat, a plant, and a white cat vase. It has the little peg on the bottom so it can be attached and held in place on the tables or counters. There's a cash register because this is a business. The doll's gotta make that money! However, this looks like card only, so be ready to tap. We have the tiniest little cardstock magazine. It has pictures on the front and back and inside. And I bet you could just fold it the other way too if you want to have a different look. But it is seriously small. Here it is next to a Barbie National Geographic magazine. And here it is in the hands of a Barbie. Speaking of Barbies, this playset comes with a doll. Her face screening is pixelated and shiny. She has blonde hair that stops at the waist, wears a pink headband, a white dress with leaves printed on it. It has pink stitching at the collar and is hemmed at the bottom. The pattern goes all the way around and there's no opening in the back. She wears light salmon sneakers and has the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, shoulder, and hip. The role of classic Barbie will now be played by Margot Robbie. We get a cream cupcake on a red plate. That bright red really sticks out with this color palette. I would have liked to have seen it in pink, but that's just my opinion because you know, I'm all about pink these days. There is a slice of chocolate cake on a purple plate. I think the purple goes okay because we have little purple vases over here. There is a pink coffee cup, a pink plate of cookies. They are molded onto the plate. We have two cups with lids and straws. The lids are removable. We have two clear mugs. I kind of love these. We have a kettle, teapot, pitcher with a lid, three clear containers with silver colored lids, a clear scoop, a spoon, and three packets of dissolving powder. Now these are for water play, which I personally am not a fan of. But for demonstration purposes, we are going to take a look. Let's pour the powder into the containers. I'm already making a mess. And add the lid. If you are doing this, make sure you're on a protected surface. And here is the last bag. And we can use the powder to make different colored drinks for the dolls. Not the humans, but the dolls. Not edible. And we can use hot and cold water to change the color of this little kettle. I have some icy water here and we're gonna just put that into the water. And yeah, it turned pink. Wherever the ice water touched, it turned pink. And where the ice water is sitting, it's even pinker. If you can get the water in there carefully, you'll get a very distinctive line on the kettle. Let's put the top on and we can pour it into the little mug. 
I don't like water, I don't. Now we can take a little bit of the dissolving powder. I'm using the scoop to get a little bit and place it into the cup. Put the top back on so we don't have any little accidents. Let's add the water to the cup. Just a little bit. Yeah, okay, we just made some blue water. And it's taking a minute to dissolve all the powder, but it is happening. We can mix the colors. Let's add a little yellow and stir. And now it's kind of green. So we can have fun making our dolls designer teas. And we can use a little warm water to change the kettle or pitcher or teapot back. Overall, I like the idea of the cute and cozy cafe. The water play was actually kind of interesting, even though I am very anti-water. But we are getting quite a few of the same pieces. I guess we could use them to expand the seating in our cafe. The dolls are taller than the cafe wall, so we can't really put them behind it. We could use a petite, but then the sign is in the way. So I guess this establishment is self-serve. I like the clothing racks with the shopping playset. However, the skirt is starting to fray. And I would like more than one clothing rack so we could build a store scene. We do get other ones in other play sets. However, they're coming in different colors. Ooh, but I like the idea of our little cute and cozy cafe having a boutique. And I think I have the perfect thing for our little boutique. I've been seeing these cute little chunky crocheted purses on Pinterest, and I want to try to make one in miniature. I bought this yarn on Amazon. It says it's good for beginners. It's a tube yarn, and it kind of feels like a t-shirt. I'm using a crochet hook. This one is a 4.5. Warning, I am by no means a crochet expert. I just kind of dabble and I probably don't follow all the rules. So proceed with caution. I hold the yarn between these two fingers and then I use these two to hold the bottom. Take the hook, place it on the back of the yarn, close your fingers, do a little twirl to catch the hook. Now we're going to make a chain. So I'm going to grab the yarn and pull it through the little opening we have here. There we go. And now we have a pretty secure little loop. Now let's grab the yarn again, wrap it over the hook and pull it through. One, two, three, four, five times to make a chain. Then I'm going to make one more loop and pull it through. Then I go in through the previous little loop, you know, little number five. So if you're counting one, two, three, four, five, going right in through there, I grab the yarn and pull it through. So now I have two loops on the crochet hook. Take the first one and pull it through the other one. All right, so we're back to just one loop again. Then we're gonna do it again and go in through the little yarn number four, grab it, pull it out, and then go through the other one again. Yeah, and then we're gonna go through number three, grab it, pull it out, and pull through again. Continue all the way to the end, and now it's time to go down the other side. So I turn it, and we're gonna go in through this little loop that's directly across from the one we were working with. Grab the yarn and pull all the way through. Then go in through the next one, grab it and pull all the way through. When I get to the end, I just repeat. I turn it and I go in on the other side. And we're just gonna keep doing this. And it starts to make a little bowl shape. Just continue going around and around until you get the size that you want. Then make another chain, 
going up. I'm doing five because I want to keep the handle pretty small. Then I go in on the other side. I'm going to just turn this so I can see a little better. Grab the yarn and pull it through. Then I do a second one right next to it just so it's got a nice secure strap. Pull it through, cut the tail of my yarn, pull the thread or the yarn all the way through. And then we just kind of pull it tight. And that's our little handle. I take the loose threads and just kind of weave them in and out of the bag. Repeat for the tail that we started with. We're just going to hide that inside the bag to make a chunky crocheted purse. This is my first attempt. I assume we will get better with a little practice. Oh yeah, this one's way neater. And I did six here instead of five. It just gave me a little more room and it was a little easier to make. Here's the first bag with the doll and here's the second. I do like six better, but I think we can totally play around making them different sizes. And yay, we got a craft done that didn't require any drying time. That reminds me, I better go check on my pottery. Thank you for joining us while we checked out a few Barbie play sets and made a purse. And it's functional. We might be able to fit a cell phone. And my mom just made one with a double crochet. That one's a lot larger. Might make a good tote bag. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time.